Hello, this is Daniel Chung, and I built a large Rube Goldberg machine. This is how it works. First, I have the vibrating cell phone, a com which converts sound vibration into kinetic energy and slides down the inclined plane and pushes the cart. The cart has potential energy, which is converted into kinetic energy when it is pushed down the inclined plane. The wheel and axle on the cart allow it to roll down the inclined plane. The cart collides with the book at the end of the inclined plane and causes the book to fall forward, hitting the other books in front, causing a chain reaction of falling books. The last book falls on the end of a lever. This pushes the other end of the lever up where a ball is sitting, imparting kinetic energy to the ball, causing it to fly up into the air. Then collides with a wall of cups, causing the cups to collapse. On top of the cups is a weight which has potential energy, um, which is converted to kinetic energy as it falls down from the collapsing wall of cups. The weight is attacked to a, um, attached to a string and then attached to a pulley system. The other end of the pulley is attached to a light switch, which is pulled up when the weight falls down. The light switch turns on an electric circuit, which turns on a blow dryer. A blow dryer blows air onto a um, pencil, which is holding a ping pong ball in place on an inclined plane. The pencil is pushed out of the way by the blowing dryer to allow the ping, uh, allow the ping pong ball to roll down the inclined plane. And then the third ping pong ball rolls down an inclined plane. The ping pong ball collides with, the, with a domino at the end of the ramp, causing the domino to fall forward, hitting a series of dominoes in a chain reaction. The last domino at the edge of the table is attached to a page in a book, which is pulled to the side, turning the pages when the domino falls to the ground. And let me show you how it works.